hey guys welcome back this is the continuation of my previous neon text animation if you haven't watched that video I highly recommend you to watch that video first and then continue watching this video in this video I'll show you how you can add that little camera movement in your scene and I'll also show you how to add wires in between your text so after you follow that tutorial my previous neon text animation tutorial you will have all these layers and uh, uh what you have to do next is click on new layer then click on plane so we'll create a new uh plane layer i'm just going to rename this to wires and i'm going to set the color to black and click on ok now let's tool open up this layer and go inside transform uh, let's decrease the opacity to 50 percent now you just have to use the freehand mask tool you can press f on your keyboard or just click right here to select that tool make sure that your wires layer is highlighted uh, what I'm gonna do is click or right over here and just click right or click and hold and just create a shape like this I'm just going to bring this point back right over here and click to create another point I'm just going to cl close this path by just clicking on this point okay now we just have a shape like that what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to rename this to one and I'm going to duplicate this you can just right click on it and click on duplicate or you can just press ctrl D on your keyboard I'm going to rename this to 2 and I'm then going to set its blend mode to subtract it will open the second mask go inside the shape and you'll have this expansion so I'm just going to set the expansion to negative 4 and hit the enter key on your keyboard and you'll have this uh, kind of shape okay then uh, what you have to do is um, create another shape so I'm just going to again use the freehand mask tool and uh, make sure that your wires layer is highlighted and again create a shape like this I'm just going to bring this point back right over here click again and just close the path again I'm going to rename this to 3 duplicate it rename this to 4 set its blending to subtract twirl open it up go to shape and set the expansion to negative 4 and repeat the process um, again use the freehand mask tool make sure your wires layer is highlighted and I'm just going to create another wire right over here and just create another mask or another shape like this one right over here and just close the path like that and I'm going to use the I'm going to rename this to if I can just rename this to 5 and duplicate it rename this to 6 I'm going to set the blending mode to subtract open it up go inside shape and change the f expansion to negative 4 okay um, so let's see our wires and uh, there we have it what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the wires layer and I'm just gonna drag it and put it above the brick texture layer and now we can see your wires are behind your uh, text letters so now we need to get rid of this uh, line over here on all the three wires so what I'm gonna do is create another mask make sure your wires layer is highlighted create a uh, use the freehand mask tool to create a shape like this and uh, just close the path and set its blending mode to subtract and you can just rename this to erase and what I'm going to do is duplicate it hit ctrl D to duplicate it and I'm just going to use the selection tool and you can just simply move this mask and put it anywhere I want to so I'm just going to put it right here I can use the freehand mask tool and I'm just going to bring this point right over here like that I'm going to duplicate this one hit ctrl D to duplicate it use the selection tool I'm just going to move it right over here like that and uh, okay we are done so that's how you add that is how you add the wires in your scene so I'm just going to again expand it I'm going to set the opacity to 
and what you can do on this layer is go to the effects tab and search for drop shadow effect and apply it on your wires layer and you'll have that nice drop shadow effect in it you can again go to drop shadow and increase the opacity if you want to let's do 0.7 okay uh, now we are done I will just have to add that uh, camera shake effect so to do that <coughs> What I'm going to do is create a new grade layer. So <clears throat> click on new layer, then click on grade. And you can just rename this to camera. And uh, in the effects tab, search for jitter effect. So it should be jitter effect. It's It will be under grunge. So just apply it on your camera layer and expand the jitter. Oh, it's not the jitter effect let's just see what it is so I'm just going to go back go into grunge and we have the shake effect yeah just have to apply it on the our camera layer expand the shape expand the shake effect and it's going to set the amount to around three three or four and you can just set the smoothness to 100 and now let's see how it looks so far so let's make it half let's play this so it's uh it's too much so i'm just going to change the speed to let's see let's make it 20.20 20 and see how that looks we need uh really subtle movements in it so that's why i'm just going to uh, set the speed to point 20 so you can just play around with these settings so and uh, get a really nice uh, camera shake effect in it and uh, what i can do is go inside my camera layer i can just go inside transform move your playhead at the first frame i can just uh keyframe the scale so i'm just going to create a keyframe uh, after i create a keyframe it's going to move my playhead to the last frame of my video and set the scale to around uh, 108 so we'll have this uh, zoom in effect uh, okay I'm just gonna select all these layers except the camera layer I'm just going to parent all these layers to that camera layer so okay we have this issue right here so I'm just gonna go back my camera layer go to the scale select the first keyframe I'm just gonna increase the scale value and make it 105 this one will be Let's do one, one, one. Okay, so you'll have this uh, camera movement in your uh, in your animation, and that's it, guys. That's how you create uh, the camera shake, and uh, that's how you create these wires that you are seeing in your uh, on your screen right now. Um, I hope this video was helpful. I hope you learned something new. If you did, please do consider uh, liking this video and also subscribing to this channel. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.